Many times in your drawing, you will need lines to be a bit longer or a bit shorter. You'll also need your lines to abut up to other lines. That's where the trim and the extend commands come in. I've combined these two commands together because they're practically identical in function. The trim command will shorten your objects by cutting them away from different parts, and then the extend command will lengthen your lines to an extension line. Let's open up the trim and extend example file. Here we just have a series of different lines and circles crossing each other and some not. If you draw some lines vertically like the ones shown here, and then some horizontally so that they cross back and forth. This way they're intersecting or they possibly could intersect if they were extended or trimmed all the way. So let's start the trim command. Just type in trim or just TR. Don't type in T because that will give you text. We don't want that. So we want TR for trim. It's also found in the modify panel on the ribbon and it's a flyout and you have the option of using either the trim command or the extend command. We're going to start off with trim. Now once you start the command, you have to pick an object. This is the cutting edge line. So if we select this line here, then press enter, and you can pick more than one line. Now we've established our cutting line or the trimming edge. Anything we click that's on one side of that line will disappear. Just as if we took a knife, and cut these lines right where our trimming edge is. So if I pick here, that goes away. Same with all of these. Now you can use all of your typical selection methods. Most of the time you're going to find that a crossing window or just a single pick like I did there will be enough to remove the unwanted items. I also find that the fence selection option is handy too. Make sure to pick the objects on the side of the line that you want to be removed on, you know, the parts that you want to disappear. Now, let's try trimming some of these others. As you can see, these objects were not cut. The line did not physically go through them. Now, there is a way to get this cutting edge line to project all the way across your screen so that you can trim these other lines because right now, if I try to click them, they won't do anything. But if I use the edge option, I can tell it to extend. And now it will trim these lines. That's great because a lot of times you're going to find that you need to trim something or cut it away, but you didn't put in enough of a cutting edge line. So that's pretty handy. And you can always turn that off if you don't want it back on. The extend command works exactly the same way. It just makes the lines longer. Type EX for the extend command or the full word extend. Or again, you can come up to the modify panel up here in the ribbon. Remember, if you can't find the extend command, it's probably hidden underneath the trim command. So now let's select some lines. We'll pick this one here. Press enter. And again, you have the same options. You have your selection options here, your fence and crossing, and you have edge. We'll tell it to extend. And now I can pick all of these lines and they will automatically extend. Now that's a pretty cool feature. You can see that you can create a lot of line work just with the trim or the extend. Now let's take a look at the trim and extend commands up here. We have a series of circles that are concentric. Now let's say that we need to create a keyhole for this here. Now how can we go about doing that? Well, we're going to use the trim and extend commands and we'll be able to create some items to it. Since we have most of what we need already, we can just start by trimming. Press enter. And let's select everything because we can. You can use a trimming edge or an extension line and trim it at the same time. So if we want to cut out a little notch right here, we can. And we can start picking what we need. As you can see, we can do a lot of different things because each of these lines are trimming lines. And we can keep trimming until we're done. Now let's select these and erase it. So we've made a quite different 
set of lines here. Let's use the trim command again. This time select the outer circle. Now, I can't trim these lines because there's nothing to cut to. But if I hold down the shift key while in the trim command, it becomes an extend command. Well, that's pretty interesting. So in theory, I don't even need the extend command. I have the trim command available. So I can pick these lines, but if I want to draw something back, I hold down the shift key and it will extend my selected objects. Now, the exact same thing is true for the extend command, only in opposite form. I can extend something, or I can hold down the shift key and trim it. <laughs> it's up to you. But that's a neat little trick. So if you're trimming and you cut it too short and need to put it back, don't stop the command and start a new one. Just hold down the shift key and pick your object, and it will extend it back to the proper length that you need. That's a great time saver if you make a mistake.